FCA's Automotive Research and Development Centre in Windsor, Ontario, Canada is celebrating 20 years of cutting-edge engineering excellence. Since 1996, ARDC engineers, in partnership with the University of Windsor, have been pushing the envelope on a wide scope of technology advancements across FCA's vehicle portfolio. Everything from vehicle durability and safety to overall environmental responsibility. And over the years, additional university partnerships have been forged with McMaster and Waterloo. The ARDC's 93,000 square meter industrial complex houses seven research labs responsible for helping ensure the company's newest vehicles, such as this 2017 Chrysler Pacifica, will give customers many years of worry-free enjoyment. The testing usually far exceeds what a customer would expect from a vehicle, for example, here in the road test simulation lab, vehicles are tested for a period roughly equivalent to driving to the moon and back seven times, or 5.5 million kilometers. The testing that we do in our road test simulation lab is basically body chassis durability, so all the suspension components. There's a lot of potholes, um, some major bumps, there's body twists that, the, that some vehicles will run over, um, a lot of like cobblestone or just very rough roads. How well vehicle components stand up to heat, cold, and everything in between is determined in the environmental four-post shaker lab. You can have 40 degrees Celsius in there, 100% humidity, you know, jungle-like conditions anywhere to dry Arizona heat or uh, Alaska in the middle of winter, which helps the platform engineers make sure that the parts are designed and built uh, the proper specifications so that the customer doesn't see any issues with them. ARDC eCoat research engineers have developed an important computer-based predictive tool to help ensure a vehicle's eCoat or corrosion protection layer is applied at the right thickness, free of air bubbles and will drain properly. We will do these simulations before we even have any steel. Any steel bodies are available. We do them on the CAD early on. This enables us to make adjustments to our CAD before tooling, stamping is developed. Doing adjustments to the CAD is a relatively cost-effective way of developing our vehicle bodies. Along with research, the ARDC is actively involved in mentoring the engineers of tomorrow. They work alongside ARDC engineers, gaining valuable hands-on experience while helping to build a future resource of talent for the facility. For one University of Windsor student, it's an opportunity to understand engine efficiency more clearly. The engine is essentially the heart of the vehicle, and just like a heart, it has many compartments and lines going to and from those compartments. And if we can break it down line by line and optimize the efficiency using both the reality of this test and the virtual modeling that our simulation guys do, we can make the engine as efficient as possible. Pushing the envelope on design creativity is one area where ARDC engineers can build new vehicle design concepts with new tools. Or, in one case, reach back into their childhood to get the job done. I like to work with Lego um, because that helps me be more creative. So I might be asked to make a, a linkage or a set of gears and it does something unusual or some unusual motion and so I'll make it out of Lego first and I might rebuild it two or three or ten times and it's, it's great when you build something out of Lego because you've got it in your hands, you can see how it moves and you can see how it changes shape and you can show it to others and they may have ideas that you haven't thought of. When I have a design that I like, and it's just about the right shape and, and size, uh, I then work on it in CAD software. See and be seen. Nothing could be more important or more heavily regulated on vehicles hitting the road today. Here in the ARDC's state-of-the-art lighting tunnel, engineers can easily create any weather condition to test vehicle headlamps for maximum safety in fog, rain, snow, you name it. Hundreds of hours and more than 50 different tests help ensure the highest headlamp standards are met or exceeded. Master's students from the Polytechnic University of Turin, Italy are also training at the ARDC to earn a second master's degree and perhaps find their dream job. 
I will do also some um, engine tests, so with a real engine, like uh, as, like uh, as I'm doing uh, a job, a real job. So it's good because I'm facing the problems of uh, everyday work. So it's a very good uh, project and it's very helpful for me. The ARDC pioneered this type of academic partnership in Canada in 2011, and the program is an integral part of ARDC's continuing growth and success. It's working fantastically. We've had over 400 interns here at the ARDC, um, and we've mentored several sabbaticals as well, as well as uh, several uh, publications for the ARDC.